My fellow Americans, today I'm honored to officially introduce to you the next Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States, Katanji Brown Jackson. It is an honor, the honor of a lifetime, for me to have this chance to join the court. My name is Kim Tignor, and I'm one of the co-founders of She Will Rise. She Will Rise is an initiative pushing for greater diversity um, and more black women on the federal judiciary, um, including the Supreme Court, which we now have. So we launched She Will Rise in the summer of 2020. Um, I remember that uh, I was ecstatic when I saw then candidate Biden make a promise to nominate the first black woman. And you know, then candidate Bernie Sanders also made that, that, that commitment. Um, but what I saw was that that enthusiasm, the energy that I felt that a commitment like that should have generated was just kind of missed. This is in the wake of the murder of Breonna Taylor, the murder of George Floyd um, and Ahmaud Arbery. And, um, you know, you saw the resistance and the movement take to the streets with an energy that we just never seen before. Um, but what I saw really missing uh, from those uh, demands and that push was the, the, it was a failure to integrate the federal judiciary into that strategy. So I literally reached out to three of my sister friends who all have amazing talents and asked them to help me launch this uh, amazing initiative. We have to understand the civil rights movement is built on five, four decisions on the Supreme Court, <laughs> right? And there have been times in history where justices have had their minds changed mm -hmm. because of these conversations that are happening. It's that deliberation. For 233 years, black women have been waiting for My daughter, Sophia, she's 10 years old. And on the first day of the confirmation hearings for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson, she participated in a rally. For the past two years, my mother, Kimberly Tignor, along with three co-founders, Sabria Williams, April Rain, and Brandy Colander, have been leading an organization called She Will Rise that has been working to get black women nominated to the Supreme Court. She has this amazing grasp and understanding of we are going to be the ones to save us. And it is important that we show up and we step into the place and stand up for our rights and for things that we believe in. Who's court? Who's court? And so here we have this entire generation, this entire, I mean, you know, it's like a hundred little girls from the age of two to 17. Um, and here they are ready to say, we're ready for the first black woman on the Supreme Court. And those are judicial advocates. Those are future judges. Those are just so many mag like magical seeds that were placed that day um, just by helping our girls see a future for themselves. So we're going to make some noise for the women who had to have uncomfortable conversations and kick in some doors so we can celebrate today. So when I say, spin love and light up in this air for the founders of She Will Rise, I mean that. Let's go. This is what it looks like when you reach out to a sister and you say, we want to start something, will you ride with us? And they have said yes the entire time. I think now and forever they will see themselves reflected in that court.